This is a lithographic print. The pictures would have been made in a process called offset lithography, which only became popular and used in magazines and newspapers around the 1870s. This print was published by a man called William Mackenzie in 1880. This print shows pictures of the electric telegraph machine. The electric telegraph made it possible for people to communicate over long distances. The first telegraph was made in the United Kingdom by Cook and Wheatstone in 1837. It worked by sending electrical signals over a wire in between telegraph offices. Now around the same time in the United States, Samuel Morse was also working on an electric telegraph machine. And it is his type of machine that you can see here in this print. He made a code of dots and dashes to represent letters and numbers, which made it a lot easier to send complicated messages across the telegraph lines. Now this upper image here shows a message coming into what is called a receiver. The signal comes in from the telegraph lines and operates the receiver to make tiny dents in this moving paper tape which is wound past a clockwork motor. The tape was then read by a person called the operator. Over time, operators got better at reading the code in real time, so later designs of the telegraph machine do not have this moving strip of paper to record the dots and dashes. These designs on this print are the work of Siemens and House engineers. Siemens and House set up a business within the telegraph industry in 1847, and they went on to build and support the creation of telegraph networks in Russia, in London and across the transatlantic. The electrical engineering company continued to grow in the 19th century and continues to make huge developments today. In the present day, they have many products from uh, high speed German trains to washing machines. The creation of the telegraph brought the world a lot closer together. It had an effect on the railways, on catching criminals and on the newspaper industry, as it made it far quicker to send information between different places. By the later half of the 19th century, most towns and cities had local telegraph offices where the public could send messages called telegrams addressed to any person in the country for a price. In 1858, Queen Victoria sent a telegram message to the US President Buchanan. Her 99 word message took 16 hours to arrive which is very, very slow compared to what we are used to today with our instant messaging systems. But for the time, this was a huge step forward. Telegrams were used for more than a hundred years. And despite the creation of the telephone by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876, they existed alongside each other for many, many years.